Oh. Today on X Play, <laughs> our little man is all grown up. Ah! It's Adam's birthday. Okay, I'm out of here. And we're here to celebrate. Oh, it's Adam Sessler's birthday. Well, isn't that a special <laughs> treat? On X Play. <laughs> <laughs> Say hello to the birthday boy. It's Adam Sessler and Master of Ceremonies, Blair Butler. Hello and welcome to this special episode of X-Play, celebrating the birthday of our very own Adam Sessler. I can't believe they made me work on my birthday. Yeah, sorry about that. Now, to clarify, Morgan Webb is out this week. I'm your guest host slash Master of Ceremonies, Blair Butler. Why are you doing this to me? Because your suffering amuses us. And also, so the viewing audience can understand the innumerable contributions you've made to gaming. You mean the kidney I gave to David Jaffe? Yes, pretty much that. Oh. But uh, tonight, we're going to go back through Adam's greatest achievements, his most significant moments, and every single one of his groin injuries. Because, actually, can someone um, get my podium? A podium? Podium, yeah, podium. a podium. It makes why, it more special. Why, why do we need a podium? Because it's fancy and it has stuff on it. All right, here we go. Adam Sessler. This is your life. You know, honestly, I was never that fond of my life the first time around. Can't you give me someone else's life for my birthday? How about somebody from the cast of 24? Dennis Haysbert's life, that can't be worth that much. Um, well, actually, uh, you know, he goes for pretty penny these days. But first off, Adam, do you remember this voice? Hill, Hill, Hill! How's it going? I don't remember me! Oh, dear Christ, no. Yes, yes, it's Pickles the Clown from your seventh birthday party. How's it going? Would you like a balloon animal, Adam? Yeah, like that time you made the balloon snake for me on my seventh birthday in a closet. Hey, man. I served my time. Okay, let's... Let go. Uh, all right, guys. Creeping me out a little bit, and that's very phallic. Let's go on to one of Adam's greatest moments on video while these men let the healing begin. Don't heal. Balloon snake. Don't heal. Prepare to be shocked with Shad Grim Gravy. Ah! Hello, and welcome to the horrifyingly true world of video game violence. I'm your host and guide, Shad Grim Gravy. And yes, it's true. Inside the confines of a harmless world like video games, chaos reigns. Chinese checkers, Clue and the game of life. These are games, but not like these. These are no mere pastimes. No, not when the depression of a single button can extinguish a living, breathing, jubilant line of computer code. Hold tightly and follow me as I give you Exhibit 1, Postal 2. What drives men to such levels of depravity? To stride over Mother Nature's tender bosom, removing the heads of Earth's fair citizens with a crude instrument of digging? Oh God, no! Is that beloved child star Gary Coleman ensnared in the wicked reticle of a foul fiend? Not the cat! Be brave, tender puss, for soon your suffering will end. <laughs> Shocking! Exhibit 2 is truly where evil is in residence. In this odious moment from Resident Evil, we find this foul human destroying innocent zombies by placing a hand grenade in the poor wretched mouth. Exhibit 3, Kingpin. A bloodsteed melange of orgiastic wrong writing. Don't kill that mother... <laughs> These poor, defenseless, misunderstood victims were once a mommy's baby suckling softly in a rocking chair. 
by the fire. Mother! Exhibit 4 shatters the peaceful tranquility of beautiful Venice. Stop, stop! Painkiller! You rested villain, they could be mere school children on their way home from some wondrous renaissance finishing school. Exhibit 5 speaks of fortune but pays only in the riches of sorrow. In Soldier of Fortune 2. Goodbye arm, the flowers you must have cradled. Goodbye brain. The thoughts you must have pondered. So, until next time, this is Shad Grim Gravy saying violence does happen in games. So, what's next? More scarring memories from my childhood? Ooh, maybe have that girl from fifth grade who kept on punching me in the arm and calling me Adam Cesspool. No, I'm sorry. Olivia had prior commitments to attack the show. She just couldn't make it. Okay, then maybe you have hateful ex-girlfriends, maybe alienated former roommates. Oh, how about this? How about you just announce to the world that I'm 40 years old? No, Adam, Adam, Adam. We're just gonna sing happy birthday to you, yeah! Okay, that's kind of nice. Unfortunately, <laughs> under Title 17, Chapter 1, Section 102 of the United States Code, the happy birthday song is subject to copyright law, so oh. we can't sing it to you. Thanks. Unless we pay a small fee! Oh, you guys did? That's cool. Which we're unwilling to pay because we don't care that much. Of course. So we got the staff from your local Chippy's theme restaurant to come out and sing an entirely free but less well-known birthday song to you. Hit it, boys! Non-copyright birthday, a birthday song for you! Non-copyright birthday, a birthday song for you! This song is not infringement of intellectual property! Non-copyright birthday, a birthday song for you! Yeah! My life is now a nightmare. Next, Adam's greatest moments on X Play. Yes, 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 yes. Jack Link's Beef Jerky presents Messin' with Sasquatch. <laughs> Jack Link's Jerky, feed your wild side. Jinx, clothing and gear for gamers, geeks, and hackers. Check it out at Jinx.com. Yaris, from Toyota. When you take it off, you're gonna like what you see. Scotch Blue Painter's Tape. Goes on easy, comes off clean, leaving professional paint lines. Scotch Blue Painter's Tape. Star Trek 2.0 moves to its new time. Weeknights at 6 p.m. Eastern, starting September 5th, only on G4. Yo, what up, Sesto dog? This is the Yu-Yo gang wishing you a happy birthday. Word. Double word. Hey, Adam, you want to play Pokemon with me? Yo, dude, how many times do I have to tell you, son? This is Yu-Yo town, mother... <laughs> Trudging towards their own deaths, it's Adam Sessler and Blair Butler. Welcome back to X-Play. Now, apparently today is a glorious tribute to the fact that I've seen...
years of pain on this earth. Yeah, but Adam, the excitement just keeps coming. Where? Well, from the creepy clown. Because tonight, Adam, we're going to go back and remember your place in television history. Here, Adam Sessler, are your greatest moments on X-Play. Give me the ball. Basically, what I'm saying is, I suck at your mother, Majewski. Shut up, Majewski. You're worse than your mother when I had her on all fours tied up. Where was I? Mama Lord! Coconut! <laughs> we are the cream of the national gaming press. Yes! 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 It's not lithium! It's black soap! Yeah! Yeah! I was promised a helper monkey! Where is my helper monkey? You need a permit to have a monkey. <gasps> Ah! Other newsers. <laughs> my memory is bad. I cracked my skull twice. I have no sight in my right eye. Here's her to hit the robot's brain. Morgan and I are gonna hold him down. What's your advice for an aging video game show host? I love to take little skinny, uh, ugly shirt. Stay your course. Middle-aged guys hold the microphones in my face. The future is, is unlimited. Road game failure. So the viewers at home can have some sort of contrast here. And I love to just pick them up over my head, throw them onto the concrete, and make them bleed all over the place. What? What? Yeah, Mondo was just really good to me. Thanks. <laughs> Welcome back to the Festival of Game Criticism we enjoy calling X-Play. Who the hell are you supposed to be? Amelia Earhart, duh. Well, hello there, Mr. Sessler. I'm an embarrassed man. Stupid embarrassed man. <laughs> I've been stabbed. Somebody help, help me. I've been stabbed. Oh my god, we're all gonna die. High-powered mutants. Too weird to live. Too rare to die. Now, what have I done to you to deserve this? Oh, I think you remember. April 19th, 2003. Don't act like you forgot it. The Tommy Tallarico incident. Yeah, I still have rayon burns. But Adam, you've co-hosted with many, many women. Well, you know, I'm a bit of a player that way. Yes, <laughs> but here, right now, is a special message from the woman you call co-host these days. Morgan Danger Prudence Marie Webb. All right, let's get this over with. Hello, this is Morgan Webb with a special birthday message for... Adam Sessler. Everyone thinks that you're the coolest... TV host. It's hard to believe that you're... Age with health. ...years old. You're finally going to be in grade... Blank. And I just know you're going to have a great time at camp. And I hope that you get that present you really want. A video game. Or... A video game. Well, looks like time's up. But happy birthday... Adam Sessler. And cut. Okay, I'm out of here. She remembered. At least one person did something to make my birthday special. Mm -hmm. huh. What about me, Adam? I made your birthday special. Because I care about you deeply. Okay, here's a birthday wish from yet another of your Jet Set celebrity friends, Adam. Uncomfortable. Hi, Adam. This is Kobayashi, the hot dog eating champion of the world. And I wanted to wish you a happy birthday. We have a lot in common, you know. We both like to put tons of wieners in our mouth. <laughs> That's competitive eating humor. You wouldn't understand. Happy birthday. In a moment, Adam gets sensitive on X-Play. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> it's over. I'm Layla Cayley with your weekend feed. Milwaukee, Wisconsin is America's drunkest city, according to Forbes.com. The site consulted the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention to determine the winner, which beat out Minneapolis, Columbus, Ohio, and Boston. Better luck next year, guys. And here's one for the irony file. Pete Coors pleaded guilty in a Colorado courtroom to the charge of driving while impaired. The Coors Beer Baron will undergo alcohol education and perform 24 hours of community service. 
including a panel sponsored by Mothers Against Drunk Driving. And finally, this year's Sex Education Expo in Seoul, South Korea was less sexy than attendees would have liked. Thanks to immigration issues, the foreign lingerie models hired for the event failed to obtain the proper visas and were banned from performing. Well, that's all for now. Visit us on the web at g4tv.com slash the feed. It's the only news you need to know. I'm Leila Kaylee, and you've been fed. This Sunday and Monday only at Circuit City. Get no interest for 18 months store-wide on all purchases $4.99 and up. Plus, all CDs are just $9.99 each. This Sunday and Monday only at Circuit City's Red, White, and Blue Sale. There are two ways to define uh, function, implicitly and explicitly. Feed Both your appetite for fun with Butterfinger Crisp. Yeah! Why even to not do it so that you can ride? <laughs> Think about that. Light crispy wafers layered with Butterfinger Cream. Butterfinger Crisp. Follow the finger. Red Zone Clear Gel, our strongest clear gel ever. Old Spice. We are the men and women of the United States Army Reserve. We are people just like you, with civilian careers, families, and a desire to serve. We stand ready. The Army Reserve can get you up to $20,000 in enlistment bonuses, plus up to $23,000 to continue your education while you gain valuable experience, all while you train your home. Call 1-800-235-0893 and get this free DVD and sports watch. Stand ready in the Army Reserve. Warnings on Action Blast. It's a fight to the finish with Kaiju Big Battle. This is it! Belly to belly snowflake! Classic G.I. Joe returns, as well as Cybertron. Transform! Action Blast. Mornings at 8, only on G4. What are you being charged for internet service? I don't know, maybe $24? $23.90. What are you being charged for internet service? $10.95. $10.95. Millions are discovering the real value of People PC Online. Go to PeoplePC.com now to try us free for 30 days. You get unlimited internet access for only $10.95 a month. People PC Online has a smart dialer with more local access numbers than AOL for faster, more reliable connections. You even get security tools to help protect you from spam, pop-ups, and email viruses. And you can continue to use your favorite instant messenger. Compare us side-by-side -side with your current ISP. Go to peoplepc.com and start saving today. So the next time you're asked how much you pay, proudly declare 1095. Go online or call 1-800-537-2017. People PC Online, a better way to internet. Oh, it's Adam Sessler's birthday! Well, isn't that a special treat? Kinda like space shuttles blowing up twice. I hope you celebrate the same way Bruno Kirby did. By dying! <laughs> I'm just busting your chops, Sess loser. Keep up the good work of whatever it is you do and I'll just keep ignoring it. I'm out! Like Lance Bass. <laughs> Aging neither gracefully nor well, it's Adam Sessler and Blair Butler. Welcome back to X-Play. We are here celebrating the birth of our own brave leader, Adam Sessler. On this, the occasion of his <laughs> birthday. I hate this. This is, after the mobile station and the trip to Colonial Williamsburg, the worst birthday ever. Um, sorry, point taken. Um, is there anything that I can do? Okay, you know what? Yeah. Uh -huh. How about you play that sensitive sess piece? That is the one thing that I'm proud of here on X-Play. Oh, I, I guess we can do that. And Adam, later in the show, we've got a dramatic reunion for you with your old co-host from San Francisco. But first, sensitive sess. E3, the Electronic Entertainment Expo. Every year, a sight of great happiness and wonder for thousands of Americans and some foreigners as well. But for one gleaming eye gaming enthusiast, it was a sight of tragedy, of unspeakable disappointment 
and dismemberment. I lost my thumbs. This is Ted. E3. It took my thumbs. It took my thumbs. What was your world like when you had your thumbs? It was a normal life. I, um, I went to school and I, I played games. Things were good when you had your thumbs. It was a world that you wouldn't want to change. You don't have any of that anymore. No, no, I don't. You couldn't enjoy this cool, refreshing beverage as easily as I am right now. This simple way of bonding with a friend is, well, it's impossible for you right now. Oh, this is fun. It's all, oh God, it's all over. It's okay. <laughs> Freaking thumbs up. Thumbs up. Let's go back. Let's take a trip back to E3. I can't. I, do I have to? Yes, I have no intention of being here all day. It was 1998, and I, um, I was in Atlanta for E3. There was something in the air. They were showing off Ocarina of Time, and when I got to the kiosk, someone else cut in front of me. I had the N64 controller, and, and this guy wanted it. He grabbed the other end. They were squaring off, then he found his strength. There was stronger tugging and stronger pulling, and I was starting to see stars and a, and a white light. And then, and then, this horrible tearing sound. I felt this warmth, this wet warmth, and my thumb was gone. But that was only one thumb, only half of the story. I was outside clutching my bloodied hand and staggering to the curb when someone, some horrific fanboy was running with scissors saying they had a lock of Hironobu Sakaguchi's hair. He kept running, just blindly running towards me, running and, and running, and there was this terrible sound. And the other one was gone. So what have you been doing with yourself the past six, seven years? I mean, it's not like you can hold down a job or anything. Well, I mean, I've been getting in touch with my creative side. I, I've been looking for a lot of inspiration. I find that in nature and uh, just being by myself. Um, and I've been wanting to get back into gaming because it was such a big part of my life. And uh, I've spent a lot of time, many, many hundreds of hours working on this, which is a controller that's all touch-based. You don't need your thumbs. It's interesting. You know, this is what everyone's saying that Nintendo's working on, a whole touch-based thing. I mean, gosh. I mean, it uh, sounds like you wasted the last four years. Uh, I mean, that's, that 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 kind of sucks. But whoo, we wow. God, I hope you don't take a few right. <laughs> we had hoped to speak to Ted one more time following this interview, but apparently he got himself into a car. Some said it was a stick shift. Coming up next week on Sensitive Sass, we're going to talk to a man that had his stomach stable, but. We help him find out that maybe it wasn't the size of his stomach that was the problem. I'm such a good person. I know. And who would know that better than your old co-host from San Francisco? Do you recognize this voice? Slippy! Yes. Slippy! Yes, that's right. Oh. Slippy, the formerly oh. red snapper who co-hosted oh, with you for about it. a sixth of an episode oh. in 2004. Oh, Slippy! Slippy! Oh. Slippy! I'm never going to let them take you away from me again. Oh! Oh! Didn't you eat that fish at the end of the episode? <sighs> Just let him be happy. Oh, but well, that's not fishy! Oh! Moments away. A birthday greeting from Adam's mom on X-Play. Uh, uh, uh. You're gonna like these guys, though. They're a pretty good crew. Everybody, listen up. This is Levon. Hey, Levon, I'm Winty. You're on the 120 today. How are you? So, uh, if there's anything you need, just ask these guys. They'll take care of it, all right? Welcome aboard. Thank you. You ever been around anything this fast before? Yeah, in my last job. See how Army training gives you strength for now, strength for later at GoArmy.com. Here at the Chic Shave Lab, we have been testing the new Chic Quattro Titanium in simulated social environments to see if it really is of the hazy. Of the hazy, indeed. New Chic Quattro Titanium stays sharp to give you a close, smooth shave with less irritation than the leading brand. 
It's the only razor with four advanced blades made with titanium. Music Quattro Titanium, the power of four meets titanium. Hi, here's your pizza. This is Fudge MC, he's helping us with our newest promotion. Warm brownies with fudge dipping sauce. They're free. Free warm brownies? Oh, you're too good to be true. Oh, I love you, Fudge Oh! <laughs> oh, fudge Get 10 warm oven baked brownie squares free when you buy any large pizza at menu price. New longer lasting juicy fruit. Sweet. Dude, I wanted that. Yeah. And? Don't mess you for it. Gotta have sweet. Gotta have longer lasting juicy fruit. The critics are raving about Attack of the Show. <laughs> TV Guide declares it's on weeknights at 7. <laughs> Olivia Munn is the co-host, shouts Daily Variety. And the Chicago Tribune cheers, it's a show. With reviews like these, isn't it time you checked out? Attack of the Show, weeknights at 7, only on G4. Star Trek 2.0, weeknights at 6 p.m., starting September 5th, only on G4. Dude, I just heard they're hiring at Applebee's. Sweet. Welcome back to X-Play. Now, Adam, what would you say if I told you that we have a message from the woman who loves you most in the whole wide world? Connie Chung is finally leaving, Maury. Ew, no. Haven't you seen her on YouTube? Gross. No, here's a birthday wish from your mom. Hello, Adam. It's your mother. Me. You know, how'd you labor for 48 hours like passing a buffalo? Anyway, your father and I wanted to wish you a happy birthday. He would have come downstairs to say so, but he's upstairs watching his filter. He loves those countdowns. Anyway, since it's your birthday and I love you so very, very much, I wanted to list some of the reasons I'm disappointed in you. One, why can't you find a nice Jewish co-hostess to settle down with? You know, someone we can watch on TV during the high holidays like those girls from The View, except for that Star Jones. <laughs> Too. I wish you could have been like Betty Gleberman's boy. He went to school and he worked so hard. And now, now he's the Risho chef over at TGI Fridays. And they do the potatoes with the crispy on the top and so soft in the middle. Mm. Mm -mm. Anyway, I have a bunch more specific disappointments, but I know you're so busy all the time. I'm just going to send them to you in my weekly letter. In conclusion, I'm giving your life right now a one out of five, but you can turn it around. I have faith in you, even though you always, always, always disappoint me. Happy birthday, honey. Oh, and I finally threw away that Sears catalog from 1984 you were so fond of in your bedroom. Bye-bye. <laughs> Happy birthday, Boobla. Okay, guys, this was the best birthday ever. Well, for me at least, and I yeah. realize that's not saying much, but you gotta take what you can get. You know, Adam, Adam, it's not over yet oh. because it wouldn't be a birthday without cake. Beefcake. Why did you get me cake with the dancing guy in it? Aren't you gay? No. Oh. Wow, I was totally off about that. Sorry, man. Um, well, Adam, it doesn't stop there. Oh, right. We got you a little something. Oh, oh, wow. What could it be? Uh, I don't whoa. know. Yeah. Hopefully it makes up for the gay thing. Oh, wow, wow. Look, look, look. It's yeah. my dignity. I got my dignity back. Oh, I'm feeling better already. Yeah. That's, I'm glad you love it. Um, seriously, though, actually, we're going to have to take it back because you're reviewing an eye toy groin injury game. And, uh, yeah, yeah we're going to need that back. Well, thanks for joining us for this very special birthday episode. Uh, this mix of self-indulgence and self-hatred was brought to you by X-Play.